Okay, so Katrina, I'm gonna read a post that you just put in the group. And cause I, like I, I think context is so important when I see something, I wanna know what's happening. Um, cause I see a lot of these posts, right? I see a lot of the posts in the group. And this one says, I am struggling with street text at the moment. Most of the leads are decent and it's it's costly. However, it's not costly you're saying, but however, the challenge I have is the time frame and rating converting them. So most of them after the intro, I'll send them the CMA. I always ask for the appointment. Some of them are literally just wanna know their home value. Some of them after they receive the CMA, they won't even bother or uh, and they'll just unsubscribe or I'll add them onto my KV core and receive, they'll get marketing updates or a mailing list. Um, I feel like it's tough at the moment though, and the trust is not there, especially with all the advertising on Facebook. I understand the follow-up and the amount of nurtures we have to do. Time is precious and money advertising using straight text without a return is a complete waste for me. How can we get better or eliminate leads who are not ha hot at all? Uh, what structure have you implemented in order to build and stay on your momentum? I'd love to hear how you were able to break through and maximize street text. Um, okay, now I needed to know when I was watching this, I was like, okay, I am Katrina's coach and I wanted to figure out, well, how long has she been with us? Since July, right? July. July. And, and then I'm like, okay, so what's your return on investment so far? And, and, you know, I want to know what's your average home sale, 250,000. Right. And then, so you broke that down. So your listing at home is you're getting 3.6%. Yeah. For listing size. And you're saying you're averaging about, so $9,000 from that is 3.6%. If you have a $250,000 average and you have 11 deals, that's almost hundred K that's 99,000. The firm takes 20% of that. So you get 80%. So that leaves you with 79,200. Mm -hmm. And then you got to deduct taxes. We all love taxes, right? Taxes brings you to a net of 55,400. Mm -hmm. You've spent, so you paid for street tax for the year, which was 1920. Yeah. And then you spent about four grand on advertising. Possibly around four grand or more. Yeah. Okay. So you're about six grand. So the, the calculation I have, let's just say is nine to 10 times ROI in just around seven months, correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so that intrigues me because I think what I love is that this struggle is real even for the most successful people. And I think you probably are really hard on yourself um, because Absolutely. you have massive goals, okay? And, and I appreciate that because I'm just like you, I'm very goal oriented. Um, and I know a lot of high performers are in the group. Now, a lot of people would look at that and say, I just want a deal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want two. Like I've been with Street Text for six months and I haven't done anything. So before yeah, we go there, mm -hmm. let's talk about what's gotten you the deals. Let's go back to how those deals came in and go back mm -hmm. to when you remember, because there's gotta be some consistency in the process that created that type of success for you. Okay. Right? Well, so what is your yeah. process? Like, so let's say I'm a lead, I come in, I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, remember I'm, I'm on Facebook, I'm scrolling down my feed, I see an ad, it says, if someone were to buy your home, would you sell it, find its value in the current market? I click, submit my address, my email, boom. What's happening in that moment from the auto side to how you personally respond? So I, what I normally do, if, the, if it's a text message or a call, I will give them a, I think text message will be better. And I will just ask them, hey, I just got your um, your home evaluation request via Facebook. I want to let you know that I am real person and I'm actually work, I'm going to work on your home evaluation and then send them a text. And then sometimes I will also do an introductory um, video and then just showing my face and then letting them know that I'm, I do this almost every week and it usually takes you 48 hours to receive all the evaluation. And then when I do the home, so second approach is after a day, if I did not receive any improvements in the past, I would just send over my home evaluation. And then also with my home evaluation, it has a binder that it's a summary of the whole, um, my conversation with them, like what's in my video. So it will show them the price range and the property information about the house. And also, let's say Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, like what's the internet's best guesstimate? So second approach. And then third approach is I'm just going to email them back or shoot them a text. Say, hey, did you receive my um, 
my, my video, is there any questions that you have? And then fourth is I'm going to ask them for feedback. Do you have any feedback from me? I'm more than happy to share you my list of contractors. If you're planning to add more additions or if you're thinking about refinancing a loan, I have a local lender who can actually assist you with that. And then um, if they're not responding, I will place them in my market report. And also I do a MailChimp campaign. So they have an email campaign just showing them tips like how to improve the sale of the house, like what to do next in the springtime, like just a quick small notes. But um, it just happened that I don't know if it's, if some of the videos are working or not, but I, I am the type of person like when you go, 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 sometimes it's, you kind of get sidetracked. Is it really working? Are they really reading the whole, the whole email? Are they really watching the video so I get sidetracked with that and it's hard for me as an agent especially alone if you're getting a lot of leads a funnel leads and then it's hard for them okay I did this it's done yes yeah wow I mean there's so much gold in there though with just even what you're doing in the first part of that and I think um you did the right thing I think what you did mm -hmm. is by posting in the group and asking for some feedback and getting some some community around you it's going to be awesome and uh, what I, and, and what Katrina just did right now, she paused her ads. And I think that's smart too, because sometimes when you're stuck and you're feeling a little frustrated, pausing mm -hmm. things, pausing, and it causes you to create some reflection, mm -hmm. right? And then start looking at the process and diving deeper into the process. And then, you know, reaching out to people too, you know, reaching out to Jen and, you know, your peer in the market, see what she's doing, how she's doing it. Um, you know, Janky, all these people in the group that are doing, you know, have done well with, with their yeah. system seeing what they're doing maybe a little bit differently and maybe drawing like a gold nugget or two back into it. But what I can tell you is that your intro is awesome, above and beyond. I, I have seen for what you do for those three or four first touches, it got such high value. What I would say like now to reevaluate that is to go back to, is it feeling relational? Is it feeling like there's this authentic connection happening that's coming from contribution that really makes that person feel like that information is going to be delivered like as often and regularly as mm -hmm. they like, and that you're going to update it for them. And it's, it's your way of giving back. It's complimentary. There's no obligation. It's right. free, right? I'm a small business owner. This is what I love to do to give back to the community, right? Words like that mm -hmm. on top of that, it's going to make them feel like they can talk to you more. And also, uh, speak future state. So as you're saying, let them know what you're going to do. Um, cause you're going to have those, syst those, those type of people that don't, you don't hear from. And then you're going to have the people that are giving you feedback, people that you don't hear from almost set the tone and like, here's what I'm going to do if I don't hear from you. And you know, when the mm -hmm. timing comes, here's what you'll be able to do to actually get this information updated. Actually, yeah, that's good. Cause I felt like you kind possibly my mindset is different. It's just that I want to get the deal. You know, I want to, which one is the next client, next seller, next listing. So you're right. I did lost that touch of like having create, creating a building relationship. It's not just asking for business. It's actually like getting to know them. So I felt, I kind of felt like being a, being a real person too, not just a business person. Yes. And that's, so when you, when you reevaluate what you're doing now, part of what I, I know based on what I've learned from Jennifer Salter's course is that she'll she'll go back to the very bottom of the very first lead she's ever gotten from Facebook and see if she can like rekindle that relationship. Um, you know, as you take notes in your system, as you take notes about this particular person, see what's the last thing you said. That's why it's obviously important to do that because you don't know like what kind of discussion did we have? What did I send them? You know, what was their home value then? How have things changed or shifted now? You know, given COVID, given given the political environment, there's so many uncertainties people are inevitably trying to ask what's even available right now. What's the market doing? What's the average days on a market? Why are there multiple offers being submitted? What are homes doing like that? Um, but when you go back to the very beginning, you can just try to try to rekindle the relationship and see if they, if they want to connect and see how many of those people that you have their full information, if you know their name and their, their name on records, have you tried to create a connection on Facebook personally as well? I did add some people, but um, sometimes it's not the right person. So um, I will message them. Let's say um, like if I get a lead, I place them back in KB Core and it can track them. Like 
this is the real person and I will introduce myself by messenger. And I don't, well, I added them, but it's not like, hey, like I'm here. So it's much more on email and watching the videos that I send them. Right. But then- I most, most certainly my struggle is losing that, um, you know, personal touch and really building that trust and really trust relationship. Because I know like everyone can see all the advertising on Facebook. So that's why I'm kind of worried. Like when I called in today, this morning, just to confirm about the home improvements you've done, like, hey, I got your um, home evaluation. I just want to ask you a few questions. Do you have time today? And she said, yes. Okay. Well, I did told her, this is your address. Do you have, what type of improvements you've done? And she said like, okay, she stopped me right there. And she told me like, so I got this from Facebook, right? I don't know you. She told me, I don't know you yet. So I'm not going to send you more um, information. I'm like, okay, well, totally fine with me. What I'm going to do, I can, if you don't want to receive your home evaluation, do you want me to take you off the list? And she said, yes. So sometimes the, 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 you know, it's a wrong information with social media. And it's just weird when you start responding to them, they think it's just a random ad. So, and then when you respond, they get like, okay, what's so this? Exactly. What did I sign up for? And this is a great conversation because what you can do is you can create that experience that inevitably, inevitably always comes up. So what I, what I ask everybody to do now is to consider the homeowner's experience. And so the best thing you could always do, Katrina, and for everybody who's watching this, is to literally go to view your ad. Go to view your ad and then put yourself in their shoes for that moment where they're scrolling down their Facebook newsfeed and they see everything that they see on their newsfeed on an everyday basis, right? And it's just so it's just a skies in there as a sponsored ad. It doesn't show your picture. I mean, even if it does, it's a tiny picture. They're not recognizing that's the real person yet. They're just recognizing a home. They're recognizing, uh, let's just say they're, they're recognizing, uh, you know, What's your home really worth? Enter your address, receive your, receive your home value. So in that moment, they're like, huh, you know, you know, subconsciously, like, I want to know my home value. I'm going to get it right now. <laughs> Start clicking in, right? They think they're getting this automated home value. And right. so every homeowner, 99.9% of the time is shocked that they're going to get a call or they're going to be shocked that they have this email on the other side of that. So the key on here is that we have to become masters of narrating the experience we want them to have. And why wouldn't we? use things like the 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 app right um you know like i really like the the facebook um uh, or the app called B- make it big like have you know what i'm talking about your facebook no. no this is gonna be good home value i'll show you what i mean home value value is worth i'll show you you're gonna be like whoa this is amazing okay so okay. right so when they go to their email And they see like this little thing on their screen and then you pull back and you're smiling, right? Now they know this is a real person behind that. And so what you can really do, especially if you're you're using screen recording, is you can start with yourself and then walk them through in that screen record. Like, hey, you just clicked on my ad and you're showing them your ad on Facebook. Like you probably just thought you're getting an automated home value. Most people, you know, when they click on my ad, they're they're just curious and they click on the ad, right? And it's actually smart because I felt like I'm just going at it. But, yeah. but you're right, oh. you're showing so, them what they click so they remember. Yeah. So you remember, this is what you just clicked on. You know, so when you, I just wanted to put a, a face to the name and my ad, just so you know, it's not automated. Um, you know, I will be personally working on this. Um, so you can expect a, a quick call or email from me in the next 24 to 48 hours, right? You're setting the tone. Now, that being said, when you make the phone call, right? Hey, it's Katrina Higgins with, you know, da da Realty. What's, what's your realty? EXP. EXP Realty. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys are now. Um, hey, I, I noticed you just clicked on my Facebook ad. Um, and I'm sure when you clicked on my ad, you thought you were getting an automated home value. Would I be right? They're like, yeah, yeah, I was just curious. I didn't know I was going to be talking to a person. Right, yeah, I know. I, I, most people are. We have a little laugh. Um, but you say, hey, it's, it's complimentary. There's absolutely no obligation attached to this. I actually love doing this. My way of giving back. This way, you don't have some sort of internet's best guess because your home is unique. As as you know, da da da. You kind of have that conversation. Would, would it be okay if I asked you a couple quick questions before I start working on this report? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and then you kind of go into your thing, right? So it's that thing. Like, or if you call them, like, hey, it's it's Katrina. Hey, before you know, I just want to let you know, you I just received your submission on Facebook for a home valuation request. And it sounds like you have some amazing 
uh, updates and renovations that you've done to your home. So, you know, can, can I ask you a few quick questions before I get the report over your way? Right. So now they're getting to talk to you and now you're just asking them the question. So, you know, are you in fact just curious? Like most people are just curious, but I never, I always want to ask because sometimes just curious is, hey, I don't know who you are. Why are you calling me? Da, da, da. So you're just having that conversation because you're naturally alleviating or allowing them to like just tr tell you the truth naturally. And you're letting them know, hey, this is a complimentary. I can I can send this in the mail too if you prefer. So you have a hard copy. It can be updated as often as you'd like. I have a great system. It's called KV Core. It'll give you updates on what's happening in the market. Uh, da 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 da. Right. Okay. You know. But then you, if you ask the right questions, all of a sudden you start finding out. Well, actually, you know, my husband and da, 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 and we we don't know with COVID and you know all of a sudden you start hearing things like, hey, we actually might need to sell. Right now. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So it, it's like it moves it moves to allow the conversation to have that you want organically and naturally and relationally. And so we use video, but I think part of what we get stuck around with video is that we get so e like into the rhythm and routine that we're so used to doing that we don't stop, reassess it, analyze it, think about psychology. And I'm thinking about because we're doing a video, but we're actually not seeing them. Yeah. So you wanted to convey a message what you want them to receive but also you're right if you put actually your shoes on their on their shoes you'll actually have to really understand their situation so yeah and so and that and mm -hmm. i think that's the key because now when you're when you're following up and you're communicating you know and you're and you're because part of what i love about jennifer salter is that okay so if you know that's the video that you're gonna put in there, let's say you change your automated video and you, you make it all about, hey, this is the ad you clicked on, I wanna let you know it's called, all that stuff, right? Now, the key is you don't just settle on having it in your automations. You're gonna have that in your can responses, right? You're gonna have that in your, your like, let's just say you're using Gmail or the Bomb Bomb Chrome extension. So you can create all these snippets, these all these preloaded emails that you know you have already in your automations with Street Text as well. Because those snippets- I know that, I need to get more. Okay, so let me explain. So when I'm, you know, here we are talking live. <laughs> so when I when I'm in my inbox, so if I have my emails, right, and I and I've gotten to my emails and I've, I'm in your account and I'm like, okay, let's go look at your all your emails. And so we analyze your drip, and you have your bomb mom video in that drip, right? So if your emails are there in your automations, and I can go to here this after submission quick question. Um, this is an old one of yours, right? So I'd go down to the one that you have going. So is it this guy right here? Let's see. Maybe I'm in the wrong one, but that's your first one, right? Okay. So so what I would do is I would copy this entire format. I would go into your Gmail or whatever you use as your main primary force of email. And then I would go to compose. And now with Bomb Bomb, if you use a Chrome extension, you have these things called snippets. And they're basically allowing you to, to do as many emails as you want that are pre-canned things that you do over and over again. Like right now, I just created one for how do you embed a bomb bomb video into street text, right? Makes sense. I need to know that. <laughs> These are small things. And so when you do this, Katrina, and then I decide, hey, I'm gonna send this to Katrina, um, you know, where is your email anyway? To you. Well, the beauty behind this is I send this to you. I am gonna create tracking. And so now I know based on what I've sent, I can go in and put your email in there and see that I just sent it. There it is, right? And so I can attach things on here, but the beauty behind that too is that I can filter that by who's opening it, who's clicking on it. Like, let's say if I just want to focus on who's actually playing it and I go to Katrina, I'm like, oh, Katrina just opened it. There you go, right? And so the, the key is whatever you do send, you're going to want to have back in there, both in the automation and the personal, and then you're going to do things too where we're okay so you're so you have their home value but now you're going to actually personalize it and write their name in that little big app and say katrina your home value on 133 glenridge and so when they go to their their to go grab it it's in their septic line it's in the video they open it they know it's to them it's personal so it's the combination of your automations automation and your personal follow-up and then tracking all those communications so you don't right. just settle yeah. into it and you look if you look at, and you, this is why you you should you and, and Jennifer should hang out after this, because I saw her watching some of the live. She's now reevaluate, re I call it reimagine your automation 
and turn everything off. Off, 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 off. Turn all your leads off, turn off your address or turn off your automations, turn everything off. Look at it and say, okay, where do I wanna do to change this? Because if I know maybe I have a full week of, of automations that I wanna go out and I also wanna go out and make sure they've opened it. Cause I need to get like, I think Jennifer's at about 90% opens now, but that's not because of automations. Yeah. It's because she that's used- why I need to know, like, what are they doing? Like, how can they track also people coming in and out? Are they really watching the video? So that's I think I would say. love to have a session, like making sure that this is working out. Like, how do you um, okay. embed that bomb bomb video? hundred percent. And that's why when you look at, uh, and I, you know, I'm guilty because uh, if I look at Jennifer's course. I haven't gone into it to its totality, but what I can tell you is that she goes through that herself with her own follow-up and then updates all this stuff. And she's now at 19 deals in 19 months. I mean, you're on, on your pace to do similar. You guys could probably kick ass by partnering up. Um, figuring out what you do, so awesome. What she does, so awesome. And combining those and just making yourselves even better. But that's the power of the community. And she's she'll show you, she becomes very, very proficient with email. Because email is sometimes that's all you have if you have an address and email lead. Right, you don't have their information about their home, the condition, the updates, the name, the phone number, unless you kind of use systems. And even then, it's how you present it, it's how you narrate that experience, it's how you make that person feel like they can talk to you. So when you come back full circle, show them what they just clicked on, and then just help them really understand why they can talk to you, why why they're going to get an opportunity to connect, and why you need a conversation rather than just giving a range. And if, you know, a Zillow, a Truly, a Realtor, a Redfin model where, hey, you could have done this yourself. Like you're smart, you're sophisticated, you're a homeowner. Like you're, you could Google search, anybody can. You know, I don't want to do that for you because you could have done that yourself. Right, right. Right, but you need a real person. So, and really you need a person you can trust, right? A person that is going to be with you every step of the way, even if you want to live here for the rest of your life. Makes sense. It's kind of like a good aha moment for me because I felt like, you know, you want to just keep going and going. And at the same time, you kind of left like building trust. And at the same time, if I'm really tracking um, the response rate from my from the leads. So, yeah. so and, and so that's the key. I mean, and I would tell you by going back into this model and reevaluating it and then just going back to the very bottom. And just like, whether it's picking up the phone with every phone number you have and just playing the game. Um, and the game is just really, how can you make them feel like they can talk to you? Like, hey, you clicked on my ad a year ago. It was a Facebook ad, actually. It was an ad that said, da 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 You know, I'm gonna send you an email, but I just want, I just want to call and, and let you know, like, I, I apologize if I dropped the ball on this one, but it's complimentary. There's absolutely no obligation. I wanna give you uh, value that you can update anytime you'd like, you know? And I can update it monthly, I can update it quarterly, um, your call, but this, this is how I go about this process, right? And, and then you just find out a little bit more because if it's, uh, like you said, hey, if, if it's a contractor you need, I've got some great ones. If it's a, a mortgage person you need, I got awesome ones. Like all these people have multiples. So, hey, if you just need some help, you know, with landscaping or, you know, whether you need like, because some people just don't, they're so living through the lens of cnn or fox or whatever it is right now like they're they don't even know what they can do let alone if they're scared to go out and get groceries mm -hmm. right so help them right. feel safe and mm -hmm. let them know what's what's even possible and what you can do for them um and just say hey you're i'm just here for you this is this is a community service um you know i'm a small business owner i understand the struggle is real for us all um, but I want to make sure that you have resources, information that is helpful and beneficial for you. And even if it's not anything to do with your home, I'm, I want to be of service to you. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's very informative. It's like an eye opener for me today. Yeah. And so you so rethink the way you, your emails go out, rethink the way Julie is sending text messages to reflect that too, because you can use her to yeah. say, I, think I need to study also street text, like how they automate it and then incorporating instant bomb bomb already just to introduction yeah because if you go into your into your settings and you go to all your animations and you look at what's currently on which is this one right here and then you go into like okay here's my sequence of automations now i need to go in there and say hey what's my very first email right and this is it so there's not actually a video in it so, so if i add a video 
just copy paste a bomb bomb um so it's it's you use the chrome extension from bomb bomb so you'd want to use google chrome you click the video that you want to put in there and and then you just click like how like copy for copy email. link copy for, copy email. for email yeah and then and you just paste it and then you just paste it right and then you just, and you obviously position it and repackage it to make it look the way you want um but yeah that's it and you could do that and then what what um jennifer has been doing is she's been like okay then i'm going to add an action so as soon as that email goes off and maybe i don't want that email to go off right away maybe i want that email to go out three minutes later okay let's just pretend like instead of like right off the bat let's let it delay for three minutes um and then you know and I'm, i don't say you have to you can go change that right I'll, I'll change that back but i just want to show you how easy it is so you can say okay i'll go back to zero but now you know and then maybe i want to add action and that action is going to be a text message and that text message is going to say you know hi you know blah 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 um i'm going to add that event and then i'm going to go so this is what you want to think about and then i'm going to, it's sequentially it's sequential information so you can say okay i'm going to delay that for three minutes and i'm going to say it say something like hey it's julie katrina's assistant um just want to let you know we sent you an email check your folders because often they get lost in there is there's a video there introducing myself it's showing you exactly what you just clicked on for facebook you know how we're going to get you the home value right something like that so so the text message bounces off the the email it it like edifies what you just wanted them to see in their inbox mm, okay and you could do that for every email so then you could say oh you know what i'm going to add in a day two email because the, the next one's day four why do i why do i put something in between that says you know hey da 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 this is you know this that's is actually yeah i felt like i didn't really utilize um street text and incorporating other um let's say bomb bomb video well check this out so like, and and here's a here's a big one that I, I love right now that people are using. Um, free CMA, no obligation, just giving back. Mar hey, you know, Katrina here. Uh, Katrina here with Proof Property or with EXP Realty. Do you mind sending me a few interior picks so I can get a more exact evaluation? Please know that I'm a small business owner that puts her clients' needs over numbers. There's no obligation. Um, that. post is this? This is from Melissa Porter. Melissa Porter. I'll tag you in it right now. Right? And so it's just like sometimes we need to take a step back pause sometimes I, we just overthink about things <laughs> pause everything pause everything pause your automations pause your emails pause your ads take a week and just say i'm going to spend this next week learning and deep diving into people's processes and then put it back into my own maybe i need to go meet with jennifer maybe i need to go look at her course you know and so forth but so um looking at all the courses of let's say jennifer and everyone it's just going to be all in street text right well, they're all so Jennifer sells her own course. Um, Janky sells her own. You know, Donna in the past sold hers. You know, and, and Donna, it, it's it's old, but still awesome. Um, but the thing is, there's so much gold nuggets already in the group, so it's not like you need to go buy one. Um, I would say, you know, first and foremost, go into the search feature of our group, maybe watch a mastermind or two that we've recorded. But I think just instead of even doing that, just reimagine everything. Like instead of just like thinking about well. Like, what do I have? What are my processes already? What's my, what are the integrations I already have that I'm paying for? Now, how can I make them feel more personal? And what can I do for the first week that really make a magnificent experience? And if I do have somebody that's giving me a lot of great information, what could I send in the mail to say thank you? You know, what's a nice little personal touch? What about that little idea where people are getting these wax stamp kits and they're throwing wax on the, on the envelope? And you're not saying you do that for every lead, but you do that for a lead that you really want to make an impact with someone who's giving you some great information spent the time to give you all those updates and material uh, uh, you know all that stuff you follow up to say thank you you throw in a little you know wax stamp yeah. and, and then i you, was thinking about doing a thank you notes again because i did well, just, um, send out thank you. but just for those ones that you really want to make yeah. the difference in the homes the neighborhoods the people that went above and beyond that gave you more information than most leads and then maybe you drop a little Starbucks coffee card just to say thank you. You know, coffee on me anytime you want to visit this and, and discuss it more. And, and now, you know, I'll be able to really tune your market value. Exactly. Okay. Well, so thank I'll leave you. That. I think there's some great information. I think anybody will, will, you know, who watches this will get that. And let's just see what kind of feedback we get on. Um, <laughs> I'll write your numbers in there because I'm going to make some context with what you've done. But thanks, Katrina. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you.